Today, we're celebrating the work of 55 students who've worked in diverse teams through challenging circumstances to create truly remarkable inventions. And the enduring success, it's a result of the committed work of teachers and the passion and motivation of the students. It's the teachers who've given up their time to support and coach their teams through the competition. And it's the students who kept coming up with ingenious ideas. And this year, they've done this in the face of unique challenges. Why, hello, and welcome to the ninth annual PA Raspberry Pi Competition Awards Ceremony. My name is Georgie Barrett, and I'm here in this very COVID-secure studio with PA's Chief Innovation Officer, Fraser Bennett. The competition is all about nurturing ingenuity, that creative spark that makes a real difference to how our world works. And it's at the heart of everything we do at PA because we know it's ingenuity that will build a positive human future. We've been amazed by what you've all come up with. We've had loads of incredible innovations from across the UK. It's been really hard to narrow it down to the 13 finalists joining us today. It's time to find out which teams have won this year's PA Raspberry Pi competition. We are so very school watching. and this is our Basically, COVID has affected everybody, but mostly deaf and blind people. And with the dietary system and the high sight walking stick, we can help deaf and blind people um, go into shops more safely. Hi, we're the Honey Pie. And we're from Steeple Hampstead Primary School. And this is our Raspberry Pi project. project. Our idea was to help preserve the bees as they are vital for the ecosystem and pollinating all our flowers. Hi, we're Team BBE from Hillhead Primary School. So there's a place called Human's Umbrella underneath Central Station and it's really polluted. Um, so then it was um, like this kind of vehicle with a fan on it that will intake and intake and extract the CO2 from Helaman's umbrella, like a greenhouse with fan in it. And we would use the EnviroPlus here to monitor the CO2 um, levels, the uh, heat, uh, pressure and humidity levels. We'd like to find the winner to be uh, Pisense St Mary's School Horsham. Yes, congratulations to you, Paisa. That is some good winning jumping. I'm liking that very much, guys. Hi, we are the Peter Incredibles from the Royal Grammar School of Newcastle. Our Raspberry Pi invention is a visor which includes a coding distancing sensor. The visor alerts you with the buzzer when you come within a two meter radius with another person and pulls a visor screen down in front of your face. This visor is up, so that means that nobody is near me. But when Nicholas comes by, uh, Two meters. I just Oh, God. Hi, I'm Cyber Jensen, and we're from Regional School. The idea to create indoor air alongside from our desire to leave our mark and protect people's health and lives. We wanted to create something for everyone to feel protected at home and at work. We spend more than 90% of our life indoors exposed to dust and other pollutants. A health problem can happen at any time without a warning. No one is immune to health complications such as lung cancer, heart disease and asthma. My name is Avnash and I'm the team leader of Gen Green from St Paul's School. Essentially, the Saab, the self-automated recycling bin, is technology combined to make an automated recycling bin, which, which image recognition works out whether an item can be recycled or not, and then using a motor and a lever, it moves the item into the correct bin. Without prolonging this response, can I announce that the winning team for the year's nine, seven to nine category is Cyber Gems from Prisoner School in <laughs> We are TBPNS, Emergency Pi Network System, from National Mersey School. And we have developed a low-cost, innovative networking solution for natural disasters. During natural disasters, chaos and misinformation is pervasive, and we need a solution to coordinate resources and establish basic communication. We are Team Garant from Colchester County High School for Girls, and our product is the AI Squirrel Feeder. It has um, a plank, which is where the animal would come onto, and this can be resized for any kind of animal, not just squirrels. Um, inside we have a feeding tube, which holds the actual food. 
And we've built a system where when it's empty, it uses a light detector and then it sends an email to an account to remind you that you need to fill it up. Uh, team name is Pi Stars, and our project is called Safe Haven. So basically, Safe Haven is a, a, an enabler technology. It enables people to go on about their daily lives and not worry about COVID-19. Making this is making a world a better place because uh, you want to be stress-free when you go outside. You just want, you don't want to be on the lookout if you're gonna get uh, infected. That winner is. Colchester County High School for Girls with Geraint. Well done. Hi, welcome to Copter Who from the Blue Coat School. Here is our quadcopter submission for the PA Pie competition. So we built a quadcopter and the idea is that below it, it can hold a small payload. The main payload idea would have been, for example, a COVID vaccine or a COVID test. And the idea is that it could be taken into a contaminated zone. Hello, we are the Pizarity team from John F. Kennedy School. The coronavirus outbreak has led to many people experiencing intense anxiety throughout their everyday lives. And we've created Pisiety to help hopefully re relieve this anxiousness that they're feeling. So the Raspberry Pi has some code running in Python that uh, communicates between the heart rate monitor and to the Raspberry Pi, and then gives you options of either to play a game or to display your heart rate. Here at the ETC Oxfordshire, we believe that sustainability is a choice. So we're really proud to introduce our concept product, the PiPad, the affordable way to be sustainable. The PiPad aims to end our unsustainable exploitation of the ecosystem by replacing paper with technology. We're Team Pacemaker. I'm Zara from Harris Westminster. And I'm Herbie from Westminster School. When I had my phone stolen last year, I was thinking of ways to combat theft and have a passive way where I can be notified that something's being stolen from mine because it took me a while to figure out. So you have the Raspberry Pi, the accelerometer, which is like stuck to the top of the cardboard and a batch rack sellotape to the bottom. The winners of the year's 12 to 13 category are the pacemakers from Westminster and Westminster Harris. Everyone has had the chance to cast their votes and choose their favourite invention across all the age groups, picking the most inspiring and ingenious tea. But I'm pleased to announce that this year's People's Choice winner is, it's the Honey Pie. Congratulations to the Honey Pie. I know they're not online now, but a huge congratulations to you all. And thank you too to all of our judges who took on the tough challenge of choosing the winners from our brilliant collection of inventions. I also want to thank our partners, Rolls-Royce, Nationwide, and Anglia Ruskin University, who've offered their support to the teachers and the teams through coaching and through webinars. And without each of you giving your time to support this competition, we wouldn't be able to inspire the ingenuity of our entrants. Now, next year will be our 10th anniversary, so we will be planning something extra special. Be sure to keep an eye on our website and social media for details. We'll be opening the competition in September. Well done once again to all of our teams. Go celebrate the success of your inventions and never lose your passion for technology and inventing.